Hi, my name is Walt Farchman, Product Manager for the new EDAC XR. In this short presentation, I'd like to show how easy it is to network multiple EDAC XR systems. The diagram below shows what we refer to as Mode 1 networking. This supports up to three systems. If you need more than three system, systems networked, uh, that's what we will call mode two, and we're not gonna cover that in this presentation. But basically, when you connect three systems like this, or two systems, uh, the data from system number two and three in this diagram will be streamed to the master, system number one, and will be stored on that device. And I'm gonna show you in the software here, uh, next uh, slide or two, how this all works and what it looks like in the software. But the advantage is one SIE file, and it's really just plug and play. You plug them in and it sees the hardware, sees the other systems that you plug in, and you're ready to go. Um, one SIE file, the real-time displays from any of the systems can be displayed if you wanna look at them. You can actually plug in to system two or system three as well. Uh, so there's no particular order that you need or unit that you have to plug into to see all the channels. Um, and then also if there's triggering on any of the other systems, you can use that triggering to trigger things and log data from the other systems. So it's there's communication as well as timing and the timing is done over the ethernet PTP you can have these cables go up to 100 meters. So pretty long distances between units. We've streamed up to, uh, we've done some testing with 80 channels at 10,000 Hertz, each channel being streamed to the master, not a problem at all. And so um, each test case will be different. So if you uh, are curious, if you're real demanding tests, we might have to go to mode two. We'll cover that in a different video. Okay, so now what we're looking at is the software for the EDAC XR. And this is just, uh, I'm using Chrome. It's uh, the EDAC XR is a web server. So I just type in the IP address and this comes up. No software to install on your PC. What I wanted to demonstrate, you can see we're looking at the hardware. And I only have one system showing right now. What I'm doing right now is connecting system number two. And in a short amount of time, there it is, the second system shows up. So it's truly just plug and play. And you can see on both systems, if you expand, I have a bridge board on both systems. Um, so pretty simple setup for this demonstration. If I go to my input channels, I've already created a channel on system number one. What this is, is just a quarter bridge strain gauge on an aluminum beam, three, three, three wire, 350 ohm. And you can see a live reading. If I push on that beam, you can see a reading. What I'd like to show is how easy it is to copy that channel to the second system. So copy to, um, expand the second system, go to the bridge board channel one, because I have a second beam on that unit, the second unit as well. If I hit save, it saves the setup and then the readings will come back and if I push on both at the same time you'll see they both change. Unfortunately my second gauge is uh, on my beam is uh, a little yielded so what I can simply do is hit uh, zero, select the channels, as many channels as you want to zero at one time, hit zero, hit close, um, I'll just save it and then you'll see that the reading should be very close to zero. And when I push on the beams, they both go about the same. So I'm pushing about the same. I can rename that channel number or channel name. I'll just call it second beam. And uh, so now I have two channels set up uh, on system number one, system number two. Again, to the software, it looks like one big test, not two separate systems. Like the uh, previous EDAC was um, master-slave. You'd set up the master, set up the slave. If we were going to run a test, I've got, um, let me start a test. And if I show you here, um, I'll push on beam number one. You can see the, the values there. 
nothing on this strip chart here. I created a strip chart template. If I want to add beam number two to that, now if I push both at about the same time, um, and if I push beam number one, beam number two, beam number one. The other thing I wanted to show is on this digital display. Let me just uh, add this and then I can shrink my channels list. Um, and let me, I'll hit save. So you can change displays while the test is running. I'm going to reset these uh, warnings and alarms. But what I've done is created, I'll push on beam number one and at about 400 microstrain it'll be a warning I set it up 600 is alarm and it latches same thing if I went up pulled up on the beam um, and same thing with the the other beam as well so when you exceed limits you can see that let me show you something else that's uh, gonna be a beta release and an up-and-coming uh, firmware release so let me get some data that I can maybe recognize in fact I'll look at beam number one and I'll push down one two up one two should have gone a little higher maybe uh, kind of up there so let's say you're looking at that let me show you something pretty cool that we're introducing and that's view so this red SIE file is the one that's being written to right now and if I look at it and I can look at both channels this is on the unit so this is not um, something that is being uploaded. So this is on the EDAC XR system. And right now I'm only looking at what about 30 seconds. But if I scroll, make it larger, I can see the whole data. And here you can see my channel number one where I went down, up, and then the long up. And you only see about oh, a minute, 30 some seconds. But let me do, I'll do down 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 one two one three or one two one two and if I hit F5 to refresh and then if I add both channels again beam one and beam two and I look at the whole time history or if I just want to look at the end you can see that uh, um, oh, not really uh, showing very well but you can zoom into a smaller area scroll over and you can see I pushed on one two one two so that's something else that's coming up just want to show you that networking systems look at both systems at the same time they appear to be one big system and uh, should be much easier than it was in the past thanks a lot for watching the video uh, let me know if I can be of any help or any of our sales team can be of any help Again, my name is Walt Farchman, Product Manager for the EDAC XR.